As a child, Vana could be classified as your quintessential nerd. Braces, mushroom cut and all. As she grew up, the nerdiness never really faltered. I mean, who fast tracks their undergraduate degree? Nerd. We do these BuzzFeed questionnaires that tell you a little bit about your personalities. And without fail, the words that come up for Vanna are bold, strong-minded, opinionated, and stubborn. Riley, on the other hand, is laid back, go with the flow, outdoors be kind the guy. Riley and I go back to when he was born. <laughs> Riley lights up my heart. He really does. He told me not too long ago that I was his favorite aunt. But then he added on his father's side. <laughs> I'm the only aunt on his father's side. So I told him, he's my favorite nephew. He's my only nephew. Riley is kind, smart, strong, protective, mischievous, and most importantly, adventurous. And it is the last quality that I feel contributes the most to his character today. When you were a young boy, you decided you were going to be a dentist. You were determined, even when you had to wait a year to get into dental school. And what I recognized was fate kept you from going to dental school because had you not waited a year, you would not have met your beautiful wife. I actually remember the first time I met Riley, and instead of us staying in like Vana would usually make us do, we actually went out. Riley seemed cool, you know, soft-spoken, intelligent, confident, tall, great figure. <laughs> Reflecting back, I realized that Riley, I think he had a big role in this fun, relatively carefree Vana. One day though, she hit me with the curveball that she had decided to move to Colorado. I never told her until today, but that it was actually pretty heartbreaking. Vanna? Debbie Downer? Taking a risk and moving across the country? No way. Either she was going insane, or this one was special. Don't be nervous! Oh my god. <laughs> you make me cry. Riley, you have pushed Vana out of her comfort zone. You've navigated challenges together and navigated the world together. You've embraced our family and our culture, and I couldn't imagine anyone better for my cousin. You both have set huge goals and are reaching them. And you both now have wonderful spouses that will help you reach them. Shavana, you told me the other day that one of the reasons that you were so happy with Riley was because he challenges you to be the best that you could be. You will be that woman that if he gets off course, you'll pull him right back on course, and I know that. Now, Riley and Shavana, I just want to share with you a few of my hopes and dreams for you, because I know that I actually am your favorite aunt <laughs> on your mother's side of the family, and I'm not the only aunt. Over the past few years, we've watched you both make sacrifices and take risks for each other and for your relationship. I'm sure if I ask any of Riley's friends 10 years ago if they thought he'd be living in a house in Queens, eating curry every day, we could safely assume that they would have said no. But these sacrifices that you've both made are a testament to your love for each other, commitment to each other, and the strength of your relationship. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Dr. Wedlake and Dr. Umas.
You did it. You made it. And that's quite an accomplishment, you two. You both have worked so hard to be where you are now, in your careers, in your life, and especially in your relationship. May God, May God and all the educated people present here today unite our hearts in love. As you go forward in wedded life, may all goodness be yours. May all fortune be yours. May good health, long life, an abundance of happiness, marital bliss, and God's blessing always be with both of you. I want to start by acknowledging my best friend, whom I now get to call my wife. You are such an incredible person, and I'm so happy we found each other. She's done everything, and I mean everything, to put this wedding together. My only contribution was asking her to marry me. You deserve this life that you have worked so hard to obtain. I know you have a lot more work to do with far-reaching goals, but I also know you will accomplish all of them as you both always do. To make sure that you realize no matter how hard you two work, no matter how much you guys are trying to get stuff done, do it. There's enough people in your two lives that will help you out in the worst of situations. Everything can fall apart and you guys are still safe because we're here for you and I wanna make sure that you guys realize that. They've introduced each other to two very different worlds, and they've become more well-rounded because of it. Riley, from the moment you've entered Vanna's life, I've never referred to you as her boyfriend or her fiance. You've always been my brother-in-law. As much as I see my brother pushing Shivana to adventure, I see her pushing him to do things I never imagined he would, like living in New York City. Thank you for loving my brother, for opening his mind, and most importantly, his heart. The love you give to him is magic, and it is present simply in the way he relaxes and smiles whenever you're around. And my wish for both of you is to always find the adventure. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined how our lives turned out. From Boston to opposite sides of the country, to Colorado, now back to New York. Every now and then I think to myself how lucky I am to have gotten to meet, fall in love with, and now marry such an amazing person.
You have made me feel immeasurably happy, loved, and content. And I know that this is only the beginning of our journey together as a married couple. I'm excited to grow old with you.